civilized slag here. Plug in. I picked up the microphone, tuned in the interplanetary pyramid band, adjusted the rooster and turned him on. If you think I'm crazy, wait until we solve your problem. The Egyptian rooster vanished, and for a long time my ignorance kept me company until a voice on the radio said, Australia, the money or the bananas? <laughs> I sat down and waited as a silver coat hanger dawned in the sky. The wind began to erode the silence, and a wedge tail eagle soared past the Coca Cola sign that fizzled atop Ears Rock like a multinational magnet. Identified flying tycoon leapt overhead. I took out my slide rule and the balance sheet turned red. An old Harley Davidson with twin sidecars came wafting down the track like a pterodactyl crepe beating its wings with the radio on. Perched in each sidecar sat the Andy Warhol twins sailing close to the wind. I think about nothing, how it's always in style. Nothing is perfect. After all, it's the opposite of nothing. Said one Andy Warhol to the other. The rolling stones lay shattered in the back. Albert Namajira completed the picture, hand in hand with multicolours who was still wearing my hat. Albert was to Aborigine pop what Iggy Pop was to extrasensory punk. Multicolours looked like she'd just been carbon dating the dream time, but my ears were tracking Eric von Daniken as he rolled towards me in a chiffon party tent. I am the Outback Contour Gardener in charge of tearing down the bomb shelters. Nice one, Eric. By the way, your tie's got mud on it. Are you living on the edge? No, I'm buried together. Well, that's all right then. Carry on. Thank you. Is this the beginning of the end, Eric? No, 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 of course not. Bring on the bananas. flipped 20 cents into the air and Adolf and the Thought Demons leapt on the stage. The tent began flapping like a loose goose and something happened to my mind. Nice party, Bert. Matches your shirt. What time is it and where are we? You're boundary riding with the unknown blimp pilot. This is the year polka dot. In a corner by the mock yellow cake, Wills was blowing mines in a macrame parachute. Over by the spaghetti sandwich, the Andy Warhol twins were being sold a Mick Jagger disco doll by Eric Von Daniken. Hey Andy, everything you thought was art is junk, mate. That's why I'm in Australia. This is a land of punk. <laughs> Multicolours was dancing with a fish when the black FJ Ute drew up and outstepped Rainbow the Rooster in a coat of black feathers. <laughs> That chook is trying to say something. That's no chook. That's my imagination. That's my imagination. No worries. Out of the corner of my beak, I could see someone scratching my head while everybody else was going crazy. 
here was Rooster City. The harbour bridge appeared through the windshield and we started our descent. The wheels of fashion spun like some weird public joke and shot us back onto the street. Hot bananas! Hot bananas! Hot bananas! The radio was Hot playing bananas. Megalomania Primitive. And from the city parks and rooms of Woolamaloo came the howling bark. Now, the electric prunes for Fox, bringing you the exciting new sound of the Fox Wah Wah pedal. Let the electric prunes demonstrate the difference. Play it prunes first without the Wah Wah pedal. Now, listen to the difference when you push that Fox Wah Wah pedal down. You can even make your guitar sound like a zitar. It's the now sound. It's what's happening. That's why the electric prunes, animals, Herman's Hermits, Paul Revere and the Raiders, Stones, the Seeds are all using the Vox Wah Wah pedal. And it works with any amplifier. If you're a professional musician or want to sound like one, get with the new Vox Wah Wah pedal at your Vox dealer. Now! The radio started thumping like a metronome in a barber's chair. And the Egyptian rooster left out of the airwaves like a pseudo-Sufi disc jockey caught up in his own joke. Come on, buy a radio and feel free. Listen to Sydney playing patience with the last card in the pack. Beside the sandstone walls of Darlinghurst, the Metho kings lay sprawled in the park, gabbling around a waterhole, swigging from the details of my life. In the King's Cross parking station, the concrete pillars were dealing pure adrenaline as a moving graffiti can wrote. Hot bananas is where it's at. A flying brick tore the graffiti can from my hand and before I lost my wits, I caught a glimpse of a pair of eyes as the unexploded bomb behind my ears began to spark. <laughs> In the national space capital, the grey-suited schizoids were trying to tone down the obscenities. The loudspeakers were blurting, Fair game! Inside the labour wards and mental asylums, Radio Australia was beaming in from a southern constellation hooked up to a pirate satellite. Everything was out of control and Hot Bananas was pitching death to the running dinosaurs of Rooster City. Are you just another pretty mutant with lemon peel lips? Or do you believe in yourself enough to scream? Are we not sex objects? And how completely bananas are you? road an alien was sitting in a deck chair talking to the trees. The sun was shining. I walked out of the shadows and lost sight of myself leaving behind a trail of hot bananas. and roll credits. Hot Bananas was written by Russell Guy, produced by Carl Tyson Hall and Mike Byrne. Music provided by Ru Paul Radcliffe and Andy Wilson and featuring the voice of James Dibble. 29 After 4, you're on Double J.